Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all well this week. How have you been? Leave me a comment, let me know. Thank you so much for all of your questions in last week's video. Hilariously, I am just assuming that you've left a question because that video hasn't gone live yet. But I hope that at least some of you left a question. So I'm just gonna say thank you. It's very sunny in my kitchen. As always, let's see if I can move you around because this isn't a good look. Okay, that is better. Welcome back to my videos. So I'm just putting the oven on. I am making myself brunch. I mean, it's basically my lunch, but because it's before, it's only 11 o'clock, <laughs> I'm just gonna call it brunch. That makes it feel acceptable. I am very into eggs at the moment, all kinds of eggs, fried eggs especially, but I've had fried eggs two days in a row. So today I'm gonna do kind of semi hard boiled eggs. This is the plan. Got some flatbreads. I'm gonna roast some tomatoes, and then I'm gonna do like not not hard boiled eggs, like seven minute eggs, so they're kind of nice and like jammy in the middle. Clarence Court eggs, of course, like the really orangey ones. Maybe some like chilies and sesame seeds, and maybe like a sweet chili sauce on top. I'm just really enjoying that kind of lunch at the moment. Or maybe instead of sweet chili, I'll do like a mango chutney. I think that would go nice with the flatbreads. You can like make your own flatbread, but I really can't be bothered. So let me put some cherry tomatoes in here. I just think roasted cherry tomatoes are the best things ever. I love them so much. Um, I've got like some of those tomatoes. You know the ones that are like, the ones that are like all different colors. Oh, love them. I'm gonna pop all of those in a baking tray and then literally just drizzle on a little bit of olive oil, pop them in the oven. Those will get all nice and like soft and smushy and delicious. Wait, I did not put any salt on them. Salt makes everything better. <laughs> I don't know what I've got planned for you today. I'm kind of at home today. Rich is currently out with the car. We share a car, which means I'm kind of limited to my local area if I go out. I've got some bits to get on with work-wise. So we'll kind of see where the day takes us. I've got tennis tonight, which I'm very excited about. I'm literally playing tennis twice a week at the moment. I do a group lesson on a Wednesday night and a private lesson on a Sunday night. And it just makes me so happy. I really enjoy it. I love playing time away from my phone, away from like everything really. You can't do anything but play tennis whilst you're playing. Yeah, I really, I really enjoy it. I'm gonna take the eggs out the fridge because I always find that unless you kind of bring them to room temperature, they crack when you boil them. So I'm gonna take out two eggs and just kind of let them come to room temperature a little bit. Whilst I'm waiting for the tomatoes to roast and get all nice and soft and delicious, let me show you some things that I'm loving inside my fridge. Um, as you'll notice, our fridge has become family-fied. We have magnets, it's very exciting. We had a built-in fridge that we couldn't have magnets on before, so Gray's quite excited about the idea of magnets. We have weird notes that are just on it. So, you know, it happens. Let me open up the fridge, grab some things and show you what is inside because I love watching this. First of all, rosé. Georgia very, very kindly sent me um, some roses as a thank you for something. Um, this is the Mirabelle, Mirabelle, Mirabeau, Mirabeau, I think. Oh my gosh, look how, <gasps> It's chilling, it's ready. Oh, maybe I'll have that tonight after tennis. Uh, what else can I show you in here? It's gonna start beeping in a minute. Oh, these chocolate covered dried mango. These are almost finished. How delicious. Quite hard to eat, I have to say. They're quite tough, but they're really, really yummy. I've shown you guys before the poached salmon from M&S. I love, I can, we're giving that to, for Gray for dinner tonight and it's cooked. Oh my God, it's so easy. We'll give her that and I'm gonna make you some Brussels sprouts. I bought some Brussels sprouts. Oh, you saw this in the last video. I'm gonna, now it's beeping. I'm gonna roast these and see if she likes them. We have some Dalesford beef because we're making the Jamie Oliver uh, beef shin recipe tonight, which is our absolute favorite recipe. It's so delicious, I cannot wait for that. Oh, these are so good. The Gosh falafel. The Mediterranean falafels, um, I literally just had one. They look like this and they're really, really yummy. I picked up this yesterday from Planet Organic. It's Lucy's ginger and sesame dressing. It says mix into noodles, stir fry or marinades. Sounds delicious. And then I also got um, some sesame seed seasoning, which I haven't actually used yet, but would be really nice over, I mean, so many dishes that I make, it would be nice to have a little sprinkle of sesame seeds 
it's like ooh, there's like black and white and green maybe it's got like a flavor on it actually i haven't even tried them mmm mm, that's delicious oh it tastes like seaweed mm, it's like crunchy sesame seaweed that is delicious. This I'm obsessed with. We got this in a food market in the south of France. Oh, I don't know what that translates to. Let's see what that translates to. Google Translate. Sel du trappeur. Trapper's salt. I don't even know what that means, trapper's salt. But there are so many different things in it and it kind of has like a slight curry flavor to it. It's really yummy. We'll often use this like on salmon or chicken when we're cooking it. gutted the doorbell went i got distracted and i left the eggs in for three extra minutes they're hard boiled this was not the plan <laughs> when i cut open those eggs my heart just sank <laughs> but i think it's still going to be delicious um i'm actually going to drizzle over a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt Flatbread, heated up, mango chutney, roasted tomatoes, eggs, a little bit of yogurt on top, a little bit of olive oil and salt. I'm very excited for this, despite terrible egg cooking. Whilst I eat, I'm going to listen to a podcast. I'm obsessed with the Nearlyweds podcast. It's so funny. They just really remind me of like me and Rich and like so many of my friends who are just like the sort of couple that really take the piss out of each other. And it just makes me laugh so much. Um, it's all about them planning their wedding, which I am not planning a wedding, but it's still really funny. So I'm gonna listen to that whilst I eat my brunch and then get back to work. Mm. Time has passed. I've been doing some work and I'm just about to film a really quick, fun, like little reel. Let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my MS linen trousers, which have been sitting in the ironing basket for so long. I literally can only wear these in the summer. So I was like, why have I not worn these for weeks? Just because I can't be able to iron them. So I've just given them a quick iron. That's the worst thing about linen. I'm gonna put my Birkenstocks on. This shirt is from Arquette. And then I'm wearing one of my MS swimming costumes underneath because I think when it's really hot, and you know you're going to get really sweaty instead of just like ruining your bras you can wear a swimming costume as a top i feel like that's quite a good idea necklace is edge of ember just got my hair up got a little bag and sunglasses and yeah i'm just gonna film a really quick reel for this outfit okay i've shot a reel i've had a work call and it's getting to that time of day where it's about to become a little bit chaotic. Dinner time, bath time, you know what the deal is. So I'm actually gonna take a minute now before I finish work, before Grey gets back from being with my mum to do my evening skincare routine. I actually quite like doing this early sometimes because it gives like more time to have the product on my skin. And also sometimes I'm just too tired before bed to do my skincare routine. So I'm just gonna tie my hair back, get it on my face. And this part of the video is actually sponsored by Skin and Me. Very excited to be working with them again. I just am so impressed with the brand and the product. And I think it's such a great idea. There are so many different like skin concerns out there. Like I'm very aware that I've got quite good, easy skin. But I know people who have used this product for all different types of skin types. My sister in the last video actually started using it for rosacea. She's still giving it a go. Like she has years worth of damage to her skin. So it's gonna take a little bit longer, but I can see the progress already. And her, one of her best friends also uses it for the same thing. Anna just sent me a photo of Mark, who's been using it for only a month. And it's like, made a massive difference to his skin. No spoilers though, I'm sure Anna's gonna show you this like epic before and after photo that she took of him. It's really impressive. For me, I just ticked the box fine lines and wrinkles. So it's just like maintaining, using the active ingredients that's gonna like improve my skin over time. If you don't know what I'm talking about, sorry, let me rewind. Skin and me, this is my daily doser. Skin in Me is powerful personalized skincare with active ingredients that you can't get over the counter. So this product was created by a team of dermatologists, which means you get the expert care, but without the wait time and without the price tag. What I really like is that the product is totally tailored and personalized to your skin type and your skin goals. So this is my daily doser for Lily, it literally says. Mine has a couple of active ingredients in it, a couple of acids that are gonna really just help like even out my skin tone, smooth out my skin texture, help with those 
fine lines and wrinkles that are rapidly appearing. I'm just gonna start by taking off my eye makeup with a bit of Bioderma. You know me, you've seen me do this before. I like to take the bulk of um, my eye makeup off first. Just because I don't love like smearing it all over my face if I don't have to. Okay, then I'm just gonna take a big lump of cleansing balm. Oh my gosh, my cleansing balm has glitter in it. I went to a festival last week. That kind of sums it up. At least I washed my face when I got home. I will always cleanse my skin no matter what. Like I cleansed my skin on my wedding night and I was tired on my wedding night. I'm gonna take off any leftover mascara. Down my neck, onto my ears where I kind of extend my bronzer. And then just using a little muslin. Oh, there's nothing better than taking your makeup off at the end of the day. It's just the best feeling. It's up there with um, taking your bra off, I have to say. These little cloths are so nice. I think they're just from like Amazon. Yeah, they're just from Amazon, but they kind of have like a little bit of texture to them, which means they kind of slightly exfoliate clean like. And they're the perfect size. I hate when muslins, I hate when flannels are like massive. We just need like a little square. I'm actually gonna go in with a second cleanse because I put on quite a bit of makeup this morning. And sometimes after I've taken my makeup off with a balm cleanser, I like to go in with cream cleanser. This is just a really gentle one. Apologies if you can hear a baby crying in the background. I promise you I haven't left him. He's with Rich and he's with my mom and he's with Gray. He's just very hot and he's, he's teething. So he's quite clingy. You know when they go through that stage where they just want to be held the whole time? It's so hard, especially when it's like dinner making time. I'm going to go down soon and help, I promise. I'm just going to take this off. I actually really love a cream cleanser. Okay, skin feeling clean. So this is my skin at the moment. Okay, ignore the fact that I've just like gone crazy with the muslin, so it's slightly red in places. It's good. I actually like... Someone complimented me the other day on my skin. Um, I don't often get that, so my skin is doing well at the moment. I'm actually just gonna just gonna pat it dry and like give it a moment to chill for a sec before I go in with my active ingredients. One of the features I love the most about the Daily Doser, especially if you're kind of new to skincare, like my sister, and you don't know like how much you're meant to use, this is a month's worth of product. So all you have to do is just twist it and it releases, until you hear the click, it releases one, I was about to say portion, it's not a portion. That is the perfect amount of product for one application. So you just click it, you take that, and then you know it's gonna last you the month, which I really like. I'm not like rubbing it into my fingers, I don't wanna waste it, I'm just gonna take it straight onto the face. I also like that um, you kind of get like email check-ins to see like how you're getting on with the product. Really appreciate that. So that's my active ingredients. Letting that sink into my skin a little bit, and then I'm just taking my um, Beauty Pie Happy Face moisturizer, which is very like cooling, calming moisturizer nice on a hot day like this and just taking that on top who was it caroline maybe years ago who said that serum is like the the filling in a sandwich and like the moisturizer is like the bread i always think that when i finish with my moisturizer i'm like i'm just closing that sandwich up <laughs> my skin is feeling great if you're interested in signing up for skin and me i have a code it's lily 7 y i'll pop it on the screen now and if you use that code at checkout you can get your first daily dose for just three pound fifty instead of the usual 24.99 which is an amazing deal and a really great opportunity to give it a go if you're thinking of it i'm really impressed and really enjoying using it i'm gonna head downstairs and see what's going on in the chaotic kitchen I've just come downstairs and i'm eating leftover brussels sprouts i've put sweet chili sauce on it um i just need like a snack realize i haven't eaten since 11. oh the evenings are so nice and bright and sunny right i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm gonna go hang out with my kids make myself a cup of tea really hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye